Hey guys, welcome back to Bruins' Math Club. Today's topic is adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Now, what are unlike denominators? Remember that unlike denominators are just the denominators that are not the same. So whenever you're adding or subtracting fractions, you need to first find the common denominators, which is step one. Step two is add or subtract the I'm sorry, the numerators only. So you keep the denominators just as it is. So once you find your common denominator for your unlike, unlike denominators, you're going to keep that denominator just as it is. So you're only going to do the operation on the numerators and then finally step three is that once you have your answer you just reduce your fraction to its simplest forms and you have your answer so it, all it takes is three easy steps and so let's get started okay so first I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add fractions with unlike denominators and then subtract fractions with unlike denominators and the steps are the same for each of them except for step two is either going to be add or subtract the numerators only okay so let's get started so let's say we have the problem three-fourths plus 5 over 7. So this is my fraction problem and as you can see my denominators which are 4 and 7 are different which means they are unlike denominators. So now according to this step 1 is find common denominator. Now how do you find a common denominator for de denominators are different? Well you do that by using the LCM or the least common multiple method. Now how do you find the LCM of two numbers? Well let's find out. All you have to do is make a table like this, list the two numbers, so in this case we have 4 and 7, and now what you have to do is list the multiples of each of these numbers until you find the smallest number that is common between both of the numbers. So let's get started. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 7 is 28, 4 times 8 is 32, so I'm going to stop over here, okay? Now I'm going to list the multiples for the number 7. 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28. Now wait here. As you can see, 28 and 28 are the first matching pair of numbers that we have found. Therefore, these are our LCM because it's the smallest number that we have found which is common in between both numbers 4 and 7. That means the LCM equals 28. And remember your LCM is your common denominator, so that means now we have to rewrite the fractions with a denominator of 28. So now we have our common denominators. So over 28. So plus 28. Now what you need to do is do the same thing you did to the denominator also to the numerator. So now we need to find what times 4 gave us 28 and what times 7 gave us 28. Well, we can do that by dividing. So 28 divided by 4 is 7. That means 4 times 7 gave us 28. And 28 divided by 7 is 4. That means 7 times 4 gave us 28. That means now we have to do that operation also on the numerator. So 3 times 7 is 21. And 5 times 4 is 20. So now we have our two fractions with common denominators, okay? Now, now we'll notice this. Both 3 fourths plus 5 sevenths are actually equal to 21 over 28 plus 20 over 28 because they're actually equivalent fractions, okay? So now all you have to do, since now we have our common denominators, we need to go to step two, which is add or subtract the numerators only, okay? So remember, you keep the denominator as it is. So you're going to go ahead and bring down the denominator as it is, which is 28, and add the two numerators, so 21 plus 20. So if we do 21 plus 20, we get 41 which is our sum, or also our numerator, so we're going to write 41 on top. And now we have our answer, which is 41 over 28. But make sure, do this, that you need to first reduce your fraction in simplest forms, okay? But as you can see, we can't really reduce this anymore. But remember, this is an improper fraction. Now, I, I, don't, I know that this is not in the steps, but this is something that goes always in math, that whenever you have an improper fraction answer, you just need to convert it back into a mixed number, okay? So you can consider that a step. So you have to, at last, when you can't reduce your fraction, just make sure to change it back into a mixed number, okay, if, if it's an improper fraction. So in this case, we do have an improper fraction. So we'll change it into a mixed number by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So 41 divided by 28, okay? So 41 divided by 28. 28 goes into 41 how many times? Let's find out. So 28 times 1 is 28. 28 times 2 is 6, 1, 56. Now 56 is greater than 41. 
41, so we're going to have to go with 28 times 1, which is 28. Subtract. Now we can't subtract 8 from 1, so we're going to have to borrow 1 and make that 4 to 3. 11 minus 8 is 3, and 3 minus 2 is 1. And we get a remainder of 13. And now in order to write this as a mixed number, your quotient, which is 1, will become your whole number. Your remainder, which is 13, is going to become your numerator. And your denominator will be your divisor, which is the number you divide it by. So that means the sum of 3 fourths plus 5 sevenths equals 1 and 13 over 28. So that's how you add fractions with unlike denominators. Now let's move on to subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. And remember, the steps stay the, stay the same, except for in step 2, you're just going to have to subtract the numerators only. So let's take another problem. So if I cut all of this out. And this time I have my two fractions of, let's say, 3 over 12 minus 1 over 5. So these are my two fractions, okay? And these, this, in this case we're subtracting, but remember, step 1 and step 3 stay the same, but step 2 is just going to be subtraction. So according to step 1 is find common denominator. We do that by using the LCM method. So find the LCM of 5 and 12. Now, we need a list of your multiples, so 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times 7 is 35, 5 times 8 is 40, 5 times 9 is 45, 5 times 10 is 50. So I'm going to start while we're here and go on to number 12, okay? So 12 times 1 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 is 36. 12 times 4 is 48, 12 times 5 is 60. Now as you can see, we don't have any of these numbers with this, so we're going to have to list a few multiples for number 5 to see if we can match any of the multiples in number 12. So 5 times 11 is 55, 5 times 12 is 60. Now as you can see, 60 and 60 match, and this is the first pair of matching multiples that we have found. Therefore, 60 is going to become our LCM, or least common multiple, for the two numbers 5 and 12. So that means our common denominator will also be 60. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite our fractions with a denominator of 60. So now we need to find out what times 12 gives us 60 and what times 5 gives us 60. So divide 60 divided by 12 is 5. So 12 times 5 gives us 50. I'm sorry, 60, and 60 divided by 5 is 12, so that means 5 times 12 gives us 60. As you can see, it's reverse operations here, okay? So 12 times 5 is 60, and 5 times 12 is 60 also. Now we need to do the same thing on the numerator, so 3 times 5 is 15, 1 times 12 is 12, and now we have our two fractions with common denominators, so step 1 is done, now step 2 is add or subtract the numerators only. So in this case, we're subtracting, and we're only subtracting the numerators, so the denominator will stay the same, so 60. 15 minus 12 is 3. So now we have our fraction of 3 over 60. Step 3 is reduce fraction into simplest forms. And we can't reduce this one. So if we divide by 3, we get 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 60 divided by 3 is 20. Now we can't reduce this anymore. So we have our final answer of 1 over 20. That means 3 twelfths minus 1 fifths equals 1 over 20. So that's how you add or subtract fractions with unlike denominators. And I hope you guys understood this topic. Now, once again, it's only these three easy steps that you need to do. And also remember, if you get an improper fraction, always change that back into a mixed number. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.